we had this big aircraft hangar We're at the Long Beach Airport. We wanted everyone just to get together and just create, just paint, collaborate. We have this living, traveling art gallery and Toyota gave us two tundras to haul it around the country. The architects of inspiration. Getting a group of people together that are in completely different areas and do completely different things and put them all together and see what happens, you know. Each bike will have its own wall and piece and will really represent kind of where and where that bike came from and a lot of the ideology that went into the bike. You know, combining bikes and art and, and providing a really cool background for a bike, like a bike show but way to the next level. So it's, it's going to be beautiful and stuff. The Ducati Hyper Motar. I wanted to do a Street Fighter kind of spot, you know, and wanted to definitely pull in a, a good street artist. And Saber was the number one pick. West Coast. The anger of the mechanical bits of it just really have a sharp look. It has its venom, the red and the black, and, and basic colors, but they work really well together. mean looking little spider dude you know we want to take the pieces of the bike and utilize those how far you can push it as far as well if this line is here you know this bike you can see like okay well they took it there designing motorcycles in essence is kind of the same thing as graffiti in the way you put lines together being able to lay down lines that look that, that have just a beautiful flow of my racing background and the custom bike heritage and then taking those two things and smashing them together and this is kind of the bike that came out of that. I have to try and do this thing justice. I love repetitive gears and metal gears crap like that so uh, we're gonna do a chimp kind of working on this thing chopping away at it get some sparks flying just working on this bike building it like this monkey used to. I think this is going to be a fun project. Once I get past the fear. I'm ready. Take it off. It, it's a crazy like clashing of things that don't mix. Which is kind of like what this whole exhibit's about, is taking things that don't mix and putting them all together. This bike was started out life as a dirt bike turned into a road racer, and then was um, customized by Jay Leno. I mean, Sam Flores. <laughs> you know, again, like you're saying, something that doesn't mix, we're adding like this kind of beautiful sensitive side to it, with your flowers and birds and a Hawaiian girl. So I think it is a good kind of collab of, of two worlds. Yeah, I'm excited and horrified at the same time. 12 is the old number um, I've had since growing up in Albuquerque. It was the number of our crew. A lot of them are passed away or in jail, so just it's kind of like an homage or just to keep everyone alive, like a rest in peace of um, just my history, my past. So every time I put a, the number in anything, it just kind of keeps them alive and just keeps their, uh, I guess, their legacy going. It's great. It's great to hang out with people who ride motorcycles and aren't just, um, you know, motorcycle heads. Like Drake's an art head, Tor's an art head. A long time ago, if you trace back bikes, they kind of all started, you know, just single cylinder machines and there wasn't too much difference really between dirt bikes and street bikes, you know. The availability of old dirt bikes, kind of an untapped resource, like it's just starting, there's, you could build some ripping bikes for, you know, low budget and to just look. You know, it's classic, it's perfect. Basically, just strip down old bikes and uh, seeing how fast you can go on them. It's kind of the feeling as well, just like a rattly bike that's old and stripped down as much as possible, lightweight. I and mean, this is the, the, the sort of the affordable way to, to build a cool looking bike. The new era of cafe bikes is just 
find something in the dump, you know, something that somebody's given away and see what you can make out of it, basically. It's like build this out of this, you know? That's a cool part about art. Like, sometimes what you're doing can really say something, and sometimes it's just fun to put a bunch of stuff together you felt like doing and see what other people think, you know? You have a medium and materials, and you just pick it up and open your mind. It might not be anything. <laughs> A friend of mine named Jeff Decker is just an amazing bronze sculptor. He did he did a piece on the Glory Stomper that he gave me a while back. It's actually a piece that's right here. It's a tattoo of his uh, little speed demon that he did. Um, so yeah, he'll be bringing three pieces out that are all really and it's it's going to be a cool contrast to everything. So me and, me and Carl, uh, we went to school together back in the days. We went to high school together and junior high together. I am actually fourth generation Long Beach. So yeah, I have some history here in Long Beach. And uh, yes, I'm an artist as well. This is Perry Sands and, uh, and his wife, Nancy Sands, uh, probably circa 1970. This is the reason why we're all here today, really. It all kind of started with that dude. I indulge basically in all surfaces, so I try not to leave anything out. Basically, I like to tattoo everything but bodies. I'm just gonna let the helmet let me, you know, teach me what I'm gonna draw. I don't necessarily wanna draw something and apply it to the helmet. I'm gonna let the helmet be the piece of art and kind of, I guess, embellish it. And let the lines of the designer who made that thing basically guide me. The motorcycle to me is, you know, another extension of just American freedom itself. Something in motion, it's like the horse, it's like blue jeans, it's like a guitar, it's like just go and ride and be free. It's a symbol of freedom, which is just like this, it's a symbol of freedom. Tom the Pinstriper, the guy that came over and everybody thought he came to like get the garbage out of the shop <laughs> and like he all of a sudden just like lays down a mural on a wall in like an hour and like pinstripes a bike and everyone's just it was so rad having him come because nobody knew who he was and all of a sudden he just gets his box and comes in and sits down and, and he's just like boom 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 just nails it and everyone just stops and watches him it's cool to see the heritage I've been low riding, I've had that, uh, my 64 Impala since 1989. I, I'd been riding motorcycles and low riding before I was taking pictures. Other photographers in the scene, they've never had a low rider and they never had a motorcycle. They're from the outside looking in and I'm from the inside looking in, you know? You know, building a bike is a whole different monster and, it, and it's, and it's an art itself, you know? Building bikes and cars, like people say, you know, what kind of guy does it take to build, you know, a lowrider like you have or like a bike like this? And that, you know, it's an artist. It's just like cartoon, you know? He has to do a, a personalized tattoo for each and every person, you know, and from scratch, just for them. Put all their flavor into it and their whole story into their product, you know, the thing that they want. When you get on that bike that a uh, rolling bill for tunes is just so tight and like like everything is just so smooth. With Cartoon's bike, Cartoon doesn't get in here till later in the day. So, you know, and it's my shop too, so um, I just take it, you know. I take it whenever I want to ride it and I, all I got to do is buy Sal a, a a sandwich or some tacos and he keeps his mouth shut and I get to ride the bike you know and cartoon never knows because I always top it off with the gas and there's no the cool thing about the bike is there's no mileage thing on there 
So you never know how far I'm riding that bike or how long it is, and, and tunes don't know, you know? You'll never know unless this uh, DVD comes out, and then, you know, all I can say is, I'm sorry, Holmes, you know? I'll, um, I won't ever do it again, you know? You know Why don't you ride your bike? You got your own bike, man. I'll be like, well, you know, my bike's cool, but your bike's cool too. You gotta have it all. Sorry. You know, what can I say?